Okay, so it turns out zoos are actually pointless, and it turns out Double D Dub Busy is actually a bigger douchebag than we thought! That's the story today on the Minutemen. I'm here with CT Squid. How are you guys doing? And the dark Frenchman CT Steve. How are you guys? And I'm gonna send a shout out to our Twitter followers, No Backing Down, Diane Elmert, Kimberly Glass, The Daily Bubble, The Nettiest Targaryen, and hashtag Resistance News, guys. Thanks for following us. Yes, guys, thank you so much. Yes. Alright, so, how's it going, guys? How was, uh, how was your week? Ah, uh, it's been pretty good. I mean, uh, it's getting hot on his side. Well, yeah, it's pretty hot. It's getting warming up, yeah. yeah it's it warming up. Summer. Yeah, we're pretty, we're still sane, so that's that's pretty good. Yeah, no it's one's insane good. yet. Yeah, you know, it's a uh, it's a weird uh, living in the Trump era. It is. Oh, but, uh, my God. Let me. Yeah. So let's uh let's go around the table today. So I got some I got some things I want to talk about. You know, one of our very first topics I ever talked about on this show was uh I made an argument that our zoos uh our zoos pointless. And this is uh this is actually an old story, but uh I still want to get your guys' take on it because uh it actually correlates to some other things I wanted to talk about. So I don't know if you guys heard about that uh so let me just start off at the beginning. Everyone remembers that gorilla, the gorilla who got shot uh, and uh, died. Uh, yeah. Harambe. Harambe. Yes, everyone was a gorilla. Um I talked about how people were shocked by that because they were like, Oh my god, the gorilla's acting like a gorilla. Um, and then I talked about how the uh, there was a deer that broke into the lion exhibit. Yeah. The lions actually mauled the deer, and instead of letting the deer eat, uh, the letting the lions eat it, they uh, they saved the deer, and the deer just died later. Um, then I talked about the uh, the one zoo that chopped up their uh, the the. The zebra and fed it to the lion, and people were just shocked and outraged by us. Yeah. I mean, they were literally shocked. Well, I don't know if you guys heard about this story. That it, it, it's an old story, but I still want to talk about it a little bit. Did you guys hear about the giraffe YouTube feed that was pulled? Uh, it was actually uh, yeah. pulled and then it was reposted uh, was because people yeah, are actually now. offended by yeah. the uh, in the San Diego Zoo about the giraffe uh, giving birth. People are actually shocked by that. And uh, I think we've talked about this or not, but I mean, I, I saw that. I mean, I see nothing wrong with this. But it's I mean, nature. It is. No, but here's the here, why are people offended? From the circle of life food chain. Yeah, I don't know. Why? You know, when I, when I hear now? stuff like that, I think there's something in that that makes, you know, something wrong with you. Like, something wrong with there's you. There's something about that giraffe that just, you know, it turned me off. It's the circle <laughs> of life. I, mean, I don't know why you would have a, you know, hillbilly accent. But, but, but still, I, I, here's a weird thing. I, I was actually looking up some articles about this, uh, this similar subjects that, you know, people getting offended about the whole um, nature being nature. So if you see something on YouTube, which, you know, you could see a guy on YouTube fall into an empty pool, crack his head, then people will laugh at it, but, you know, a giraffe giving birth for about 15 seconds is just too much for people to bear. And, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you point, pointed that out, but here, here's where I really get into the story, and here's where people are going to be like, whoa, okay. So, apparently, too, you know, the reason I say that, I, I bring this whole story up about the whole the giraffe and getting offended is because I don't know if you guys heard about the Great Barrier Reef now is getting its second consecutive bleaching due to uh, rising water temperatures, and scientists are saying now this is the death spiral. This is the beginning of the end. The Great Barrier Reef will probably not last more than 30 years, I believe they said it was. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about this story recently, too, about Zimbabwe. Uh, this is <clears throat> from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe uh, Wildlife Agency said Thursday it has sold 35 elephants to China really? to ease the overpopulation and raise funds for conservation and criticism from the animal welfare activists and such else that are unethical. But did you guys also hear about the rhino that was poached inside the zoo? Yes, I, yes, I, I, I saw that. Yeah. that his, basically, they pulled his little head out and they like yeah. chopped him off with a chainsaw. Chopped, yeah. Did you hear about the Tusker elephant? Tusker elephant being now. killed. These are rare elephants where there's only 30 of there's them left. 30, well, n yeah, now, now. Now, there's only 30 of these elephants left, and the reason they call them Tuskers is because their uh, their tusks reach all the way down to the ground, and somebody actually killed one for its ivory. Oh, now, wow. Yeah, someone actually killed it. Now, the reason I, uh, I, I'm bringing this all up, guys, is because why do we have zoos if not to educate and not to help prevent these kinds of things from happening? I mean, think about it. If something... Now they're poaching pe poaching animals in the zoos. It's, they're going right into the zoo now and poaching animals. I mean, they're not even bothered. And on animal preserves. I mean, how, how does this happen, man? Uh, well, you know what? D to be honest with you... Um, 
I, I don't agree with this 100%, but it doesn't surprise me. I, I bet you this is just one of those leaked stories. I, this has probably been going on as long as whoever can remember. It's just now this has gotten leaked. But but I, we, we've talked about this on the show about uh, the Ivory game actually being distilled by, by the end of this year. Uh, and China is the only country out there right now that has uh, it being legal uh, there. Everywhere else is illegal. Um I don't know. It's it's one of those things where ivory poaching was huge in the turn of the century. I mean, and, you know, it's, um, it's still sad. People it's still, still have some kind of like it. some of these things. That people are thinking these are aphrodisiacs for some of these animals to get your dick harder and stuff. Well, like not that. even just that. Yeah, see, these crazy things like that, or they just want like an ivory tusk in their house. I've said this before, where you see like, oh, that's a cool thing. Where'd you get that from? You know, ivory tusk with like uh, inscriptions on it when they carve it in. You don't understand that some, you know, an elephant lit like had to die. Had to die. Now they're now they're being like the whole thing with the, but, the polar bears. But let me ask the you, polar bears are, another are Zeus pointless though? I mean, if they are not to educate and you know protect these animals anymore, are they pointless? I mean, right now, they're kind of becoming pointless, as you know, because our government's trying to sell off all the wildlife. Yeah, you know, right, that we yeah, have. right. But let me, let me even get to another story here. Have you guys heard of the, uh, the I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, the Vaquita porpoise? Have you guys heard about this yes. story right now, going down porpoise? to Mexico? Yes. No. Okay, this is the most endangered mammal right now on the face of the earth. There is less than 30 of them left. What, now, get left. this, now get this. This actually involves the cartels. Really? Yes. 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 The okay. cartels are trying to fit, uh, fish a rare fish down there uh -huh. because their bladders sell for uh, really high on the Chinese market. But these porpoises are getting caught. And um, Mexico is trying to prevent th these porpoises from dying off. But the cartels are basically waging a fucking war, war basically, against them. against them to be able to fish still. What? Wow. So that's why I'm saying, man... The organs but, of these but, things but, are exposed. But no, but the, I'm expensive. even saying about this about these cartels, people, because they had to be kids once, right? They had to yeah, go to a fucking had... zoo once. They didn't fucking learn anything, man. That's what I'm saying. Even for the poachers around here, even, oh, the, where they're at, they're trying to make a decent living. No, they're not. No, they're not. Some of these people are actually going to Africa to kill people. Some of yeah. them are foreigners doing this. Foreign, well, uh, Americans as well. It's just... Oh, oh it's yeah. Just, uh, it's like, how Trump, how... Donald Trump Jr. here? And all yeah. Oh, Trump yeah. kids. He's uh, the whole thing. I mean... Uh, you know what? It goes back to that. Um, I, I forget his name, but it, there was an American dentist who spent a, a, a grip of money that went over to so Africa, Africa to yeah. kill an endangered uh, lion, and he posted on uh, whatever he did on online. Well, it was on Facebook. But, but, it's, it, but, but he he gives a uh, uh, Rob gives a good point here. If we're our whole right now existence with a federal wildlife is to protect these endangered animals like uh, I was just going to uh, explain the polar bears are another one that are dying off at a rapid pace because of uh, these natural, natural disasters and global warming and they go to the only safe haven really that they have left which is a zoo and they're not safe there either. I mean, they're getting, crazy. you know, there's handoffs it's between the, the guards or the, you know, the people that that run the zoos and these poachers. The poachers just go in there; it's free game. And they probably game. do this at, you know, at night. You you kill them, you come back. So, uh, and, uh, what do you, you want? Know? You want a rhino? Yeah. You want a, you want a giraffe? Yeah. I can give you a giraffe, a giraffe for you know about three grand. Yeah, and see, and this is where I kind of I kind of hate. This whole uh, this whole thing about the giraffe thing uh, right now they're they're live streaming this right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are people watching the the giraffe right now being pregnant, going through the stages. But that's just the idolization of like now we have to kind of like poach back. This is kind of just a trend. It's like the world runs on trends. This is just a trend. No one really gives a shit about the giraffe. As soon as it gives birth, they're not going to give two shits. It's going to go away, and then something bad's going to happen. Just you know, someone's going to want its skin for the rug, and then, uh, you know, they're going to care again. So it, it's one of these things where, yeah, it's just so horrible that, you know, wh what kind of human being does that? You know, yeah. you know that there's only a... Yeah, I, man, you know... I mean, these kids now are... 30 learn, learn customers left, man. 30. Uh, there's only 30, 30 of these things less, left, man. Yeah, less. Oh, only 30. I, I think with these people, you know, they, they just see how much they can get worth something, and all they just see, like what Rob said, is just money. It's always about the money. But that and risk versus reward is so I, I know. Deep, though. I mean, it is. like Rob said, there's a war going on between China and the cartel. The cartel well, is stopping at nothing yeah. right now. They are like they're, they're worthy. They kill these dolphins they, they just so they can fish for bladders, man. Just I mean, for the bladders. Just, just for bladders. I mean, how can you do that? 
they, you, you know, know money's powerful, I guess, like I said, people. man, you know, with all the climate change going on right now, uh, they're already saying that we're entering another extinction event, and uh, most species will be uh, gone by, I think it was like 2037, they said. Right, I oh. mean, the Great, the, the Barrier Reef, that's a wonder of the world. So, yeah, the, the, the Barrier Reef, you know, what it really happened is that it wanted to go blonde. It wanted to go full blonde, okay, so it decided <laughs> to bleach itself, okay? It decided oh. to bleach itself the second time because it thought white wasn't so, okay? Bleach. It's so funny. It's so funny that you say you know, that. That's what climate deniers are going to say. It's it's it, wanted, it. it wanted to bleach itself, okay? That's what that happened. That is the world revolving, people. That is, people. That is the world evolving. Okay. Evolving with the fashion, evolving with the times. Believe me. Yeah, believe you. All right. Uh, believe us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's turn it a little closer to home. So with this, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about the new uh, GOP healthcare plan that Ugh. fucking Paul Ryan rolled up his sleeves and gave, like, I'm a blue-collar comedy guy, Jeez. just like the rest of you. Yeah. I, I saw that. That's, that was I mean, funny. Now, that was me? hilarious. It, it was see, a joke. didn't do that. <laughs> He's like, see, what happens is, was when everyone pays into insurance, and then these people have to pay for these people. It's like, yeah, that's how insurance works, buddy. Oh, my God. Did you guys see his little, like, eighth-grade special when he br broke oh, out yeah. the PowerPoint? Oh, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let me just tell you a little bit about health guys. You know, what's like, funny God. is many people don't even know that he had met with big pharma donors before that before actual happened, yeah, really, really. yeah, he met with his big wow. donors before that. He gave him a nice dinner, gave him a nice, you know, circle jerk, you know, jerked off, splooshed, bricked <laughs> in his mouth. And then he went out here and did this. So I want to talk about what this bill is going to do exactly for Arizona if it passes. Arizona could lose $46.8 million in federal public health funding over the next five years via cut included in the House of Republicans health bill. Um, the Arizona Department of Health Service uh, received $9.3 million in the fiscal year from the Prevention and Public Health Fund. The money is included in the Affordable Care Act, but the GOP plan that uh, cleared the two House committees last week would discontinue funding for the next fiscal year. The fund pays for programs such as providing childhood Im uh, immunization, basically vaccines, uh, counteracting emergency public uh, health threats such as the Zika and Ebola virus. Jeez. And it also helps to uh, curb efforts like uh, childhood lead poisoning, uh, fight heart disease, manage diabetes, um, basically uh, you know fight skin cancer, and, uh, and to talk about smoking. So that's a uh, that's what their plan is going to do for you, Arizona. And that's uh, that's what they voted for. And you know, I actually looked into more about this. Um, 14 million people will lose health care by next year with uh, this. And then my favorite thing is um, 28 million. And you heard me, 28 yeah. million are going to lose their health insurance by 2026. Yep. Yeah, see, that, mean, and that's even, a guarantee to 14 million, by the way. Well, the, what gets me the most is Medicaid. Medicaid is going to get hit the hardest. Oh, it's, it's already yeah. getting slaughtered. Yeah, so it's it's receiving, receiving, it's if not to mention, receiving, this is a huge tax credit to the fucking rich. Oh, that's right, fun. yeah. percent are going to get a huge The CBO has already came out with these reports, and I love how all, I, I just love how the reports are bullshit now. Oh my it's kind of like the jobs report. It's like, oh, that was bullshit when it was Obama, but it's, uh, yeah. it's true when it's, it's Trump. True now. I, it's true I, now. I mean, basically, if you're over uh, like 60 right now, you're just screwed. I mean, you better not have like a, a coughing fit right now because if you do, you're, you're pretty much fucked. You better go to get some Tylenol. You know, walk it off, do what you have to do, because it's not looking good for oh, I know. a million Americans. My, my dad has, or my dad is 66. He turned 66 this year. And just with this, and I saw this, I'm like, fuck, my dad's going to be screwed. Yeah, well, my dad too. My dad's like, oh, uh, the premiums are going to skyrocket. It, it is. Skyrocket. Yeah, oh, yeah. Our, our our premiums for a person that's over, I think, 60, it's going to go up. Fourteen yeah. percent, or fourteen thousand, yeah, yeah fourteen thousand, double their income, yeah, yeah, twelve thousand more from uh, the ACA. Yep. See that? It's just like what are, are they not even? Tr they're not even trying to hide that they're gonna fuck. No, no. Oh, did you see? Like, Paul, yeah, did you see screw. Paul Ryan on the news when he was with Tucker Carlson? Tucker yeah. Carlson just quite really asked him, "This is just a kickback to the rich." He's like, "Yeah, it's." It is what it is. Sorry, guys. I, you know, uh, I really, what I'm really so sick of is everyone that thinks Paul Ryan is so goddamn smart. Paul Ryan 
would only be smart if there was a fucking fictional situation where he was in a cryogenic chamber and was being and it was fucking transferred <laughs> through time where there was an idiocracy type scenario. That would be the only time. In fact, when I watch Idiocracy, I always imagine Luke Wilson as Paul Ryan. I'm dead serious. Oh, no. no. That's <laughs> I, I think that might be giving him too much credit. Uh, maybe because uh, him, the only sane person left, I don't know about that. Well, it's funny because, you know, every time I see him, every time he talks, I really think of that one part from Idiocracy when they're like, blah, 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 you gotta believe me, guys. That's exactly how I imagine Paul Ryan when he ever, whenever he talks. It's but, just, I mean, but you know, when you even have like the whole uh, nationalist, the white nationalist. Group, oh, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that in a second. But hold on, hold on, hold on. It just gives an hold on, example. Hold on, hold on. It gives an example, though. Hold on. Oh, it does. Before you get into that, before we jump into that, because yeah, we're gonna jump into that well, right here. I, 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 uh, I got so one more thing. Did you guys hear his uh, audio leaked audio about oh, Brian not defending Donald Trump? Trump? Oh, yeah. I, the I reason I bring this up is for all my conservative people. I want you to know that Paul Ryan. The Speaker of the House said he would never defend Donald Trump. Not now. Not ever. Yes. That's that was from his mouth. That was, that was him. That just is, wanted you yeah. to... Just want everyone to know that. So let's go ahead and dive into the, uh, the white nationalism part. Uh, Stephen, let me ask you a question. This question I actually wrote down here is for you. Uh, do you think what uh, Representative Steve King said was uh, racist? Well, considering the fact that the man doubled down on what he said, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say the yes. The problem is these babies. <laughs> I love how you babies. Like, let me be clear, people. Okay, I know it skewed the first time, but I'm going to reiterate it. Yes, what I said last time was, in fact, what I was trying to say. Yeah, I, I love when these guys, it's the same thing as Sessions, when they kind of, like, say, like, oh, I screwed up there, I need to do a second chance, so here's another chance. So, yeah, but... The, Let me see the like, exact no, same thing. That's exactly, yeah, that's exactly, what, exactly I what I said. said. And this thing, he looks at his group like, eh, hey, was that good, guys? Like, I cleaned it up? Like, no, you no, actually no, made it awful, awful. And then, awful. Well, and then you know, that kind of gets me into the whole, you know, Fox fake news had Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson actually said, well, what you said is probably defensible. What? I, I what? <laughs> oh, I, Nothing uh, in that man's no. statement was defensible no. whatsoever. No. America has never been white. I hate to tell you that, conservatives. <laughs> it's never been no. fucking white. Before... You came? There was Spanish people here. Before you Come came, the there was Native Americans Native here. Americans. I love how he's just like, we gotta go back to our roots. We gotta get back. I'm like, what roots? What roots, man? So you just want us to all leave and just be Native again, and then a bunch of Spaniards come, and then it's a bunch of immigrants that are making oh, this country, sure, and then not? the white people come in, and just go, like, oh, it's ours now. Yeah. Yeah, we, made yeah. the, we made the Constitution, now we're just going to make it ours now. Well, yeah. uh, Stephen, I, I don't know if you saw, but when uh, King sent out that tweet, um, did you see that um, David Duke and uh, Sean <laughs> Spencer <laughs> yeah. tweeted his praise with it? And, like, I'm going to admit this right now. I've never once looked at who David Duke was in his tweets. but I, The man's I, an idiot. I, I had to go on to Twitter and look him up. Because I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna I don't even think he's worked out. Well, because I, I read about him, and he was like a once a great uh, KKK grand wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just love, I love how wizard. they always like you know make fun of people. They always make up these fucking ridiculous names like Wizard Grand. I Master love that. That, that is so badass, the though. <laughs> grand Dragon of you know, Columbia. You no, know they had a Grand <laughs> Dragon. Yeah. Oh my God. Grand Dark Wizard. God well, damn. Well, would that be like the the founder of that charter or something? I don't I fucking know. Yeah, I that, don't know. It doesn't really so matter. So fucking but just weird. The, just the premise of that happening is whatever. The fact that there, people are trying to normalize it is disgusting to me. Oh, and, and, and you know, it goes, rationalize the crazy racism. It goes to nice. the GOP though, because they need to really fucking either own up to this shit or get rid of it. Or get the rid GOP of it. right now, and this is why I'm gonna go out on my. I'm gonna attack some of you fucking Republicans right now. Not only are you guys cheating on fucking Jesus, but the hypocrisy is coming out of your fucking eyes, man. I mean, come on now. You say you're the party of Lincoln, yet you got people like Steve King out there fucking preaching white nationalism. Well, it's the nas nationalism of God, though. Oh. It's of God. This is a guy who said, when they said, should Congress get rid of the ethics meeting, he said, Jesus had every right to I, face oh, his persecutors. Man. 
And this is a guy who said, what subgroups uh, contribute to Western society? Oh, dickhead. There's a lot of Western groups that fucking contribute to society. I can think of five right off the bat, man. Come on, now. That's fucking stupid. When he says that, you know what's so We actually already said, went through this, I believe, right, we, on the show. Yeah, we we have. did a list. Yeah, we talked about we how the Aztecs and fucking Muslims created right, culture. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not even going to fucking entertain but his, the list. But here's the thing. Like, there's the, non, the non-racists that are, you know, po the political and religious that are Christians, why aren't they offended? They should be pissed. They should be like, what the fuck? Why, why are you throwing in Jesus' they don't name? Care. But they don't care. They don't care. They They're don't. to be found. They don't. And that's why, you know, this actually kind of goes hand in hand with the topic of why, uh, I think, um, something that people need to be made aware of in Arizona, and we're going to get into that in a few moments here. We're going to take our first break. We'll be right back, guys. Pines fill back up, and we're going to start off with this next segment with our a segment we like to call the Minute Men Minute. And what the Minute Men Minute, uh, the Minute Men Minute is, is a uh, segment where we like to fill you guys in on stories that we were covering before the mainstream media was, and just give you guys quick up to dates. So here we go. Uh, U.S. Uh, carrier joins South Korea j drills against North Korea. North Korea warns of uh, merciless strikes against the U.S. So the, uh, the, the situation with North Korea is heating up, and Trump just sent bombers over to uh, South Korea, and not just any kind of bombers, the bombers that actually carry nuclear payloads as a uh, kind of final warning towards, uh, towards North Korea there. So the situation is really not looking good, guys. Uh, recently, too, there was a connection found with a Trump server and a bank known, um, a Russian bank known as the Alpha Bank, Basically, the link was discovered by um, computer scientists actually trying to find evidence for that maybe the Russians, in fact, uh, hacked Trump. But instead, they actually found a link where 80% of the traffic going to the server was found to be uh, from the bank um, called Alpha to the a server in the Trump organization out of a small town in Pennsylvania called Linnets. Wow. Now, this is a independent, these are independent computer scientists. And they were just, like I said, looking to this Ru Russian, ha um, Russian hacks. But what was even crazier is, out of the two main things the Russian uh, server was communicating with, it was communicating with not only the Trump organization, but another organization called Spectrum Health. Now, Spectrum Health is owned by Dick DeVos. The husband of Betsy DeVos. The, the, everyone knows the DeVos family is the biggest, uh, uh, biggest uh, campaign financers to the Republican Party. So if everyone remembers that dossier about the top GOP officials colluding with Russia, there you go. There you go. Uh, another story that's breaking too, Donald Trump uh, fired the attorney that was investigating his finances. That's another thing. You know, the other story, too, that broke was that Donald Trump himself may have released his tax returns. I actually personally feel this is a, uh, a flounder to get rid of, uh, this, throw the scent off of Russia. And that has been the Minuteman Minute. What do you guys think about that? Uh, well, honestly, what gets me that actually I do believe the most is about the, uh, or the Trump uh, tax returns. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, because um, just like, I don't how this reporter got uh, all of a sudden like these two pieces of paper that were his tax returns from 2005. It's not like from last year or anything, but it's from a previous year. So, like, oh, I'll just show you from like some random year. I'll I don't. To. I don't think it's anything substantial. I think no. it's irrelevant. It, it actually is. works for Donald I think Trump. It, I was just going to say. I it think right now him. here's the thing. What's going on with that? Uh, the reporter from uh, MSN NBC, um, she re she gave it she gave it through, yeah she gave it through on Twitter. She broke the news that she had it. Stay tuned, tune in, blah blah blah. 
The thing about that is she's doing what Donald Trump does. She's basically hyping up the audience, which you shouldn't be hyped. You should just say we have the tax return. They weren't even in this road. They were 2005 no, tax returns. 2005, so, so that's bad. why. So they know... They know that this is going to make the man look good. We're going to drag this out. Well, so uh, and but, but before be you get to it, uh, Rob is I think totally right about that because what this is only going to do is help Trump now and also help him in the long run because this is stalling time for him. This is stalling time and giving out yep. these tax returns is going to shut people up right now. No, because people just wanted to see his tax re tax returns. They, don't they didn't care what ones. they didn't care what year. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah I'm gonna jump in right there because. Um, I didn't watch this morning when I got up, but when I got to work, they had it on um, on Good, Mer or Good Morning America, and I saw that uh, like Trump's tax returns were re released, and I actually thought they were recent ones until I texted CT Rob about it and told me, oh, no, they're from 2005, and I went online to look at it, and I saw it was from 2005, and I'm so irrelevant. Yeah, it makes him look me good. Me like, look really those good. returns make him look good, actually. Mm -hmm. They do. Like you said, it's going to distract everybody from the Russia situation. I haven't heard anybody today talk too much about the Russia situation, except about um, James Comey, um, or... James Comey? Or James Comey. Which he didn't come out, he was supposed to come out and give a yeah, statement, he but he didn't. He did not. He, he's still hiding about it, and I'll say, I mean, there's no way. It's time sparing. It's time sparing. Alright. So, um, so in other home news here in AZ, um, our good friend Noah, Governor Hopeful Noah Dyer, gave a speech at the 24th uh, Democratic uh, Legislation District of Arizona. And according to him in a YouTube video he did, it uh, it didn't know, it didn't go very well. He uh, he did a, um, a speech that he wrote. He thought it was very captivating, but um, he said that there was a few people that went ahead of him that went over time. He didn't go over time. Um, but when he got up there, his speech contained the words rape. And uh, they immediately became offended. Yeah, I, I saw that. Of course. Okay. Well, well in hold on, hold on, hold on, there was hold a on. racial slur, though, too. I, I do remember seeing that in the video. Hold on, hold on. This goes out to all the Democrats of AZ. To, uh, especially to the 24th Legislation District of Arizona. The age of the snowflake is over. Go fuck yourselves. Stop being a bunch of fucking pussies. I know you live in a red state where the red elephants have beat you down so much that you just gotta go along with the program and pretend things are not offensive. Guys, come on now. It's over. You got the age of apology is over. The age of political correctness is over. Because someone has the word rape to justify what he's meaning, are you serious? Hey, guess what? This state is being raped. Oh, God. C.T. Robson rape. He said rape. There oh, my God. Father. He said rape. <laughs> he said rape. See, the funny thing about that is I did look at, I, I looked at uh, a lot of his videos pr uh, prior to this, and yeah. I did see the recent one. Noah Dwyer, uh, Dyer here, he, we obviously we had the interview with him when we spoke down. We, we spoke to him on and off camera, and, um, I'm, I'm just going to say this about the, the whole political correctness and him using the word rape and people getting offended. You can't get offended when you're in our president, Donald Trump. That's number one. Yeah. Number two is th he's using that word. When he used the word rape in his, uh, in his speech, he was using that as a metaphor. He used the word to describe what he was talking about. He wasn't saying that he himself did that act. He knew of someone who did that act. He was describing that act in a horrendous way. You should be applying the man. You shouldn't just say, oh, that's a trigger word, rape, because I know that's a, I, I have to be offended now, right, guys? Because he said rape. But you're not guys offended now. when Steve King goes out there and says some crazy shit like that? You're going to let the Republicans go out there and well, say some well, shit well, like because, that? Well, you know, well, Steve King was just unjustified in the speech. Oh, Steve you see, King. Oh, Steve King is... That's, uh, the, that's, the, King, that's the Democrats in Arizona. This is the point I'm trying to make. Do you not hear the shit they spew? Get some fucking balls. <laughs> see, we here on the Minutemen, we got the fucking balls to stand up to the conservatives here. Okay? Well, because yeah, no, their no ideology is wrong. Here. No political correctness. There is no political correctness. No, it's over. It's it over. Is, it is over. It, is it was over. over January, whatever the fuck he got sworn in. It January was done. Get over the whole, like, oh my god, these words are just offensive to you. No, it's not. 
Wait, oh, you. Hold see, on. see, hold on, hold on, no, no, see, oh. see, Squidge, you don't understand, nothing <laughs> I say comes out of my mouth, pee pee, poo poo, pussy, it doesn't matter, see, oh my god, oh my god, it's so offensive, wait, oh my god. Well, I'm going to jump in right here, and uh, I'm going to play a little bit of devil's advocate, and this is what kind of made me a little disappointed with Noah's, that he wrote this entire speech in four minutes. Four minutes! I mean, I, I don't know if you, like, kind of, like, proofread, kind of made sure, like, it was going to be perfect, or if you wanted to add anything to it. It just got me that it was four minutes, and I'm mean, going to... To me, I mean, I would have gone over that every single day to make sure it kind of would come across, or not, not even correctly. I, I, guess guess you, I get what you're talking yeah, about, but saying. here's here's the thing where I a disagree with you. His, his speech writing, he was in a in a room where he was going against other candidates that had time specific. Uh, you don't want to go over because once yeah. you're doing that and you re like remember well, your speeches, you're going to be a Paul Ryan. You're going to be another stand-in. People are going to snip that on you, especially now. He wanted to go as organic as possible. He's like, that's why he, you know, he gave the whole, this is my whole backstory, I'm hiding nothing. He wants to be the organic candidate that is an independent. He wants people on his side. Him remembering his lines and saying the, the you know, being like a stand-in stooge robot, people would hate him. We would, see, that's we would jump on him. And, you know, thank you, Steve, actually, for bringing that up, because that actually gets into our main topic for today, which is Mr. Doug Ducey. Now, for those of you do, who don't know too much about D Doug Ducey, I'm just going to ask, ask the question, how well do you know your governor? Well, I found out. So, let's start it off. So, does anybody remember when Doug Ducey started out, how he, he went to the Koch brothers, huh? Does anybody remember that? Do you? <laughs> yes. I do, because guess what? There's a lot of articles about it. So, Doug Ducey has not only gone over to California to kiss the Koch brothers, Koch Brothers ass, but he holds events for them all the time. So those people out there in Arizona, if you don't like big donors, if you don't like, if you want somebody who's really like Donald Trump, don't vote for Doug Ducey, because Doug Ducey just kisses the Koch Brothers ass. Okay, I digress. So, okay, okay, see you, Rob, back off. But, but what does that mean? So how about I get into another subject about how Doug Ducey, I always say he was a stand-in candidate, basically a manufactured candidate. And now I actually have a lot of legitimacy to back this up, and this is what I was talking about. So there was a report in AZ Central that talks about in, uh, lobbyist aid campaigns of Doug Ducey and Fred Duvall. The money began pouring last year during a crucial early months of the campaign with lobbyists providing at least $80,000 in seed money for Duvall's campaign and 70000 for Ducey's. Now, if some of you are sitting there saying, who's, who's Fred Duvall, CT Rob? Fred Duvall was uh, Doug Ducey's opponent when he was running. But if you don't understand the article in which I'm bringing you, it basically says that both of them were stand-in candidates. Both of them were being paid by the donors to run the same donor to run. So Doug Ducey is nothing more than a manufactured Republican, uh, a straw. Hold on, let, 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 me get, let, me, then let me get into the funny stuff here. So here's where it gets really funny. He later then, and this is recently, um, he actually just recently passed a law that says, uh, he basically, put to, he said that there's not going to be any more lobbying in Arizona. It says, in a statement, Ducey's office said, identified approximately one million in public funds spent on professional lobbyists since the fiscal year of 2015, but suggests the real total may be higher, as inconsistent reporting practices and lack of accountability may shield additional dollars of public spending on lobbyists. Arizona now joins other states that limit, prohibit government Entities from hiring lobbyists, according to the National Conference of State Legislation, and this is from February 2015. So Big D, Doug Ducey, is like, hey, you can't get the money, but all the money can come over here to Big Doug Ducey. So Doug Ducey, you know, he don't give a shit. He'll take all the lobby money, but he won't let any other politician have it. So let's get into more of Doug Ducey. Doug Ducey does not support women's rights, um, even in the tragic case of rape or incest. According to Arizona Policy uh, County Survey, Doug Ducey believes that employers should be able to deny insurance coverage of birth control to women, even though insurance companies cover drugs for men such as Viagra. I'm sure because he needs it. Uh, Doug Ducey said that the only thing that qualified his primary opponent, Christina Jones, to run for governor was her wallet. Doug Ducey, uh, nothing, Doug Ducey probably accepts support the right-wing concerned women of America group that is against equal pay for work, including opposing the, the Paycheck Fairness Act. Doug Ducey does not support an increase in the minimum wage, even though 60% even though of minimum wage earners are women. 
Let's see here. Okay, so okay, Rob, that, that's 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 you know that's a lot. Okay, well, I, did I mention just recently he attended another Koch Brothers summit in which he went to go? I, I did mention that I think. Okay, but here's 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 where the big big uh big topping of the, the cake gets. Let's see, here's where the big core of the onion. I think I want to tell money you guys. Shot. Here's the money shot right in his face. So I don't know if you know this. I didn't know this. Governor Doug Ducey was on the phone with the Senate to confirm Betsy DeVos mm -hmm. as secretary mm -hmm. as, as secretary of education. Why did he do that? Why why would he do that? Hmm. Well, let me let me give you guys explain. Let me explain why. Governor Doug Ducey uh, headlined an event with, for the uh, Center of Arizona Policy. Uh, yeah, he, he basically goes and campaigns for these people. He goes and he speaks at their uh, their events. This is a group that tried to push Senate Bill 1062, which would actually give business owners the... they would It would allow business owners to basically discriminate you based off their religion. So if you're gay, uh-uh, you're not allowed to come in this establishment. Um, including, uh, in addition, SB uh, 1062, uh, they have a, a whole litany, about 21 different anti-abortion laws. Uh, more than a hundred other laws dealing with organization uh, about family health, values, marriage, and religious liberty. Now, Doug Ducey gets his obviously gets campaigns from these people. Obviously, they help. Uh, they help his. Uh, they help his. You know, his campaign. They give money to him. They give. Yeah. They give money to, to give him. Take. Okay. So, what does that have to do with Betsy DeVos? Well, okay. Here we go. Betsy DeVos was the chairwoman of the American Foundation for Children which made contributions to the Arizona legislative races and that seeks to influence policy related to voucher programs. Who's your daddy, Doug Ducey? Who's your daddy? Oh, so man. our governor is basically calling Congress to tell him, hey, you guys need to make sure Betsy DeVos gets in power. For the kindness of his heart? No. No, that's because he's being paid. He's being paid like every other corrupt politician. Okay, so, well, 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 Rob, I mean, come on now. You can't just say that's one mark on uh, Doug Ducey's record about, edu you know, education. He, he's not all bad. Okay, well, did you guys know when Prop 301 expires here in 2021, Doug Ducey actually wants to cut it? If you guys don't know what that is, that's a tax that currently brings about $600 million a year to education here in Arizona. $600 million a year, and he wants to cut it. He wants to cut that tax. Not only that, but when he was a state treasurer in 2012, he successfully fought a ballot measure that uh, basically uh, pro that was going to be, be basically be for one cent per the dollar. Basically, 80 percent of that would go to education. So, a tax for the better of education, he fought against. Yes, Doug Ducey, you are for education. You really care about the children. No, you know what you are? You're nothing but a partisan hack. And that is why we are, so we nominate, we are supporting Noah Dyer because Noah Dyer is not a corporate, he doesn't suck the big corporate donors' dicks. Okay? 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 That's not how it works. Okay? Okay. Well, you know, one person that's going to be sucking at that dick this coming up um, election, don't you? Um, Jeff Flake. Oh, yes, good yes. old Flake. Hey, Mr. George. Flake, did you like the call I gave you last week? I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, George um, Bush is actually be going to be coming to um, Arizona, <laughs> and they're going to, they're, he's holding a dinner for uh, our favorite, Jeff Flake, uh, basically a, a campaign dinner, and they're going to be in Paradise Valley for this dinner. See, you know, I, I have something to say uh, about that. First of all, yes, Jeffy. You do need all the help you can get, because we the Minutemen are on your ass, and we are going to be reporting everything you do. You know, last week I reported about him trying to cut internet privacy. Uh, the other day I reported about how he, well, not the other day, but you know, a couple shows ago I reported about how he and Jeff, uh, he and John McCain stand for nothing. They basically stand, say, we stand up to Donald Trump, but we actually vote with him about 90% of the time. And now, Jeffy, you're going to bring a war criminal to dinner. 
Guess who's coming to dinner? A war criminal. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's like what can you say at this point when you see that happening? There, I, again, I keep reiterating this, and no, it's, it's just it's true. It's, it's Blake just, has gone to the dark side, man. I mean, much. dude, Bush is gonna be like, yes, 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 yes. Hey, yes. Blows, <laughs> He's gonna be like, I'm telling you, he's gonna. I wouldn't be surprised if he just like straight up kneels to him, bow. I mean, what? Well, well, he's, he's gonna do, get to that do point. Do you think he's gonna actually kiss? I know, Mr. President. I, mean, I, I no, but nice to meet you, Jeff. Like, <laughs> want you bow down? No, well, kiss my ring. No, Come on, right. kiss it. Kiss the ring. Just like deep throat him. Just get like straight girl. Because this is the this point. Yeah, it's, I'll start. Just let let's go. <laughs> let, let's uh, rewind back to the Ducey and the education because this is a really big thing that's actually happening now. That happened uh, um, January the twenty first, and I know this because I have very close family members that um that are teachers. A lot, I have a lot of members in my family that are teachers. I actually taught a little bit uh, back in the day, but I understand that do, doing doing this, like cutting this fund, is so crucial right now. It, it not only does it hurt the kids, it hurts the teachers, not their morale, not not just their income. It just what what are you doing at that point? Then he's going to look. What he's going to do is what every stand-in does. Turns around the next couple of six months when the education's down and says, "I blame the schools. Yeah, I blame the schools exactly. for these kids out here. I blame the you know what? Events. They're out here doing these things. There's a lot of gangs. I need to clean this up. You, you, you created them. You're the biggest gang of them all. You're yeah. part of the biggest gang of them all. You're destroying the kids' future." Putting them out on the streets. Say, we, don't, they, say, we don't need to take care of these kids. Yeah, they really need to do it. So we, 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 just, we just need their, their lunch money, see? That's all we need, see? I mean, seriously, why don't you just go, do see, save your, your money, save everything right now, take off that little uh, two piece suit you have on, right, that you got from the donors. Go up to a, the nearest kid and just sock him right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> just do that. At least that's blunt. It's blunt. <laughs> stare the parent in the face, put back on the suit, and then say, vote for me. <laughs> well, all right, I do have a question like for you guys. That. With uh, Doug Ducey, big double D, do you think he actually sits at his governor's desk, puts his feet up on like the, the desk? And I'm sure he does. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he does. Like, yeah. like, like, the one hundred. Yeah, see, you got Arizona by the yeah, ball, dude, this, see? Is like, this is like, like real life like Scarface all over again. These guys yeah, are the same reason. It's yeah. the same thing where they're counting the money again. And remember, he demands, like, let's recount the money because I need to know that it's the exact... They're the same thing. Yeah, they're that might not be money. because of the teacher, see? It see, we'll make it down, see? We'll give you about two cents a year, see? That's how it works. Yeah. It's going to destroy every... I mean, it's just at this point, what else can you do to the well, nation like I said, that the, the nation is... The the, the conservative party, whatever the fuck that name is. <laughs> I can't even fucking remember the name. The shitheads. The shitheads. Yeah, it's really so, short it's such heads. a ridiculous fucking name. I mean, I, the Center for Arizona Policy. I mean, but the, but that's, he, that's his daddy. But that's but, what I mean. But see, I don't. I I just want. I just. I just want our listeners to just know exactly in Arizona, especially guys. You guys gotta understand. This is a group, a very powerful group here. They're influencing a lot of things. They are trying to force. Christianity upon your children. At an alarming rate. An alarming rate, And man. here's the thing about it. Silently. Silently. And what do I mean by and that? Because there, you, he's saying it all over the place. Silently, what I mean is by, we need more, uh, we need to have now, instead of it being the anthem when the kids rise in the beginning of the classroom, they want to now uh, perform, uh, give me a verse from, uh, you know, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse whatever. It's like, really, you're going to do that? See, I would be, and see, some of you are saying, well, what's wrong with Christians? See, I would be fine with, if you want to teach a, being a Christian, so I get that, but see, all religions must be taught. You must teach the kids about all religions. Including Muslims. And you have to. Because you cannot heal them. Yes. You're going to get, you're going to, cre- what you're doing is creating such a, a bomb Well, not a to child. mention a fucking... A, a privatization of schools with a fucking bullshit voucher system where parents are going to fucking go broke just trying to put their child through a good school. Into school. I mean, think really? about that, guys. Is that what you want? But here's the thing. They're going to go broke putting them in these schools that they think are better because it's private. I went to private school my for the majority of my life, and, and seeing someone break their back to put you in it, it's basically you're spending money on the same thing public schools get. The only thing you're paying is the uniform. And at that point, you think, oh, I'm doing a good job as a parent, but you're kind of not because now you put it, them in a snake pit because now they're being warped and they're not being taught the things that should be taught from a public school where they will teach you about, 
yeah, these are the right and wrongs here, uh, all the other religions that aren't just Americanized. And, 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 you know, when you're coming out of a private school, you're going to think, oh, yeah, you know, Christianity is great. Now, again, nothing against Christianity for people that believe it, believe what the hell oh, you want. Oh, I have want. a lot against it. If but, you're trying to push it, but, I have but a lot But when you against. push it on somebody that doesn't want that, when you're solicitating, you're just as bad. You're going to create the next no person that's going to go around shooting Saudi Arabia, man. You know you're you're Saudi you're gonna, Arabia. Well, here's the thing. People are going to be like, well, you know, uh, CC, Steve, you're going to go too crazy with that. But am I really? You're going to create the next person that, that is going to shoot up the, you know, like we just had. Not even ten years ago, the the guy who shot up uh, a a a, a toddler school, he went oh, around Sandy and Hook, yeah, 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 and, yeah, and that's what I mean. You're gonna create that. Hey, Sandy Hook was apparently a conspiracy a in conspiracy. which it was fake. Right. In which there was actually right. shut the fuck up, Alex. I mean, dude, it was the uh, the Muslim uh, embassy in Canada a conspiracy as well too. Oh wait, you don't know that because it wasn't being. Uh, Reporter on, yeah. report on it and all that other stuff, but yeah, I, I, but that that's a big that's a big problem. It's a it's a huge problem. People don't like it because it's like, well, I'm out of school and uh, I don't have kids, so why does that bother me? Or oh, my kids are just fine. I asked them what's going on, Timmy. What what you learn today in school? Well, I learn my ABCs, my one two. He's not being taught the things that he needs to know because when he goes to high school and, and probably gets the shit kicked out of him and he's coming home because he's like. Well, I thought the world was this way, and then now I... I thought the world was flat, honey, because Jesus said it was. Oh, my God. Don't get me started. There's a lot of people out there that think that. Because of oh, this Oh, dude, did you hear about... Uh, did I bring this up last year? I'm not sure. But fucking Irving from the Cle Cleveland... Oh, he, oh you, well, you missed it. He's another one that doubled down. Now he thinks he, that he can control his dreams. Oh, well, I can't that's, actually, that's, that's possible. Yeah, but yeah, you know, here's the thing. No, but dreams. here's the thing about the controlling the dreams thing, what he thinks. He thinks... In his controlling of his dreams, once he wakes up, they will actually come true. Hmm. I, when I go to sleep and I have a million dollars in my dream, I'm going like, to wake up. He's and like, Miss Cleo now. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Cleo, Chad. Yeah, Chad, you the bones. Chad, yeah. Chad, I see you having good, good, good luck. Chad, I mean, Chad. And I told Chad. you, I said it before and I'll say it again. Hey, listen, the Miss Cleo has nothing on this Republican Party right now. <laughs> He has nothing on them. They are just as bad. They're going to be calling you yeah, up. They're, they're going to be actually prophesizing <laughs> the bones of Americans. So that's exactly what's going uh, on. Those, those prints, those Nigerian prints emails, they got sh shit on the Republican Party, man. They're going to be like, well, fuck, we can't keep up with I these just, people. I just think it's so funny. And I, I, you know, they've been talking a lot about, what did I tell you guys? A lot of this dialogue that's been going on about how the... Uh, Republican Party is in danger of losing uh, the House and uh, the Senate in 2018. They're actually nervous now. Because you know why they're they're showing their actual face, but it's here's they're the thing, showing it's what so the Republican parties are. They're they're showing how the Republican Party is just a front for corporate America. For for corporate America, and and it's so bad because people are saying, "Well, you need to give them a chance." It's like what? How what chances? Why, why am I going to give them a chance? Why do I want to not give even your own take a billion to the fucking rich? To the rich, you're gonna get. You're gonna give money. You're basically saying, give them a chance. Here's my money. I want to stay down here in poverty land, you know, and, and, and just basically scraping to surviving. But you, the rich, just keep getting richer. While the stay Republicans make it so you have to pay yeah, you have for to more pay. things from schools to health. I mean, come on. You're, you're going to pay more <laughs> than what less you have now. It's great. It's so funny. It it's funny. so funny. It's hypocrisy running wild. It really is. And, and the, for all the people that are saying, oh, just give them a chance, spare me. Because the, their own party are turning their backs on them. They're the people right now are quitting and turning tail because they don't want to, they want to get off the fucking Titanic, okay? They don't want to get on that fucking, like, door and have Jack, oh, oh, Trump, I'll hurt you, I'll hurt you. No, they don't want to be there. They want to just leave now. They're like, listen, uh, this is getting too fucking out of hand right now. Uh, I don't want to be the scapegoat that gets a, you Speaking know, of a sinking ship, you know who'd be stuck on a sinking Ship before I was sinking. Fucking Ben Carson. He'd be like, <laughs> oh, oh my god. You know what? Ben is, Carson is, would be the is, fucking oh, sacrificial is, lamb. Is, is, is the ship sinking? Oh my god. <laughs> you know what Ben Carson is to me, dude? Ben Carson's that fucking guy that's get, like totally like would try to kick off the baby out of the ship and then just like ends up dying first in this. <laughs> You know why, Ben Carson? Because you're fucking black, okay? Look down at your dick. It's black, but my friend. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Damn, CT Steve is on the attack, man. Uh, it's true, though. I mean, I mean what, come, on, come I, on. I don't want to get in. Like, let me, let, for anyone who doesn't know, I really want to tread careful water. And just, just, I'm just going to clarify this. 
Because I have to tell you, if you guys don't know, the Dark Frenchman, C.T. Steve. Oh, I'm, is I'm a black, black man. Oh, I'm black. He's I'm a black. black. And, and trust me, I've got the whole. You're not black. You're bl- you're not black enough. You're too black. <laughs> Listen, Steve, Steve Carson. But Steve, is he is, is he is he what you guys would call a? Uh, you want me to call him the coon? <laughs> well, <laughs> you want me to call him that? No, no oh. I mean, I'm just gonna say the term just straight up. Would you say he's a house nigga? I mean, well, no. no <laughs> I mean, I mean you know, exactly. at this point, I think so, man. Because once you're doing that and you're just like cozying up to him and just like, dude, you know, and you're but we all saw fucking Django and Chain, dude. I mean, I mean, and, I mean you know, we saw that Samuel before, Jackson character. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and speaking God. of Samuel Jackson, before anyone goes on and says and starts unfollowing or something, oh my God, CT Rod said that word. Uh, Samuel Jackson actually called him the same thing. Uh, he said the same <laughs> fucking thing, and he's attacking a whole other. I mean, he's oh, like man. on another level. Did you hear what he said? He yeah. said, he said, oh, Ben Carson could just, I don't know, stop speaking. <laughs> <laughs> he <could> try that. <laughs> it was basically going on and attacking him. But you know what? For people are saying, like, you need to, eat, well, why are you attacking him? It's black on black crime. You know what fucking right it is? Because you know what? The ignorance. Recognize, uh, recognizes ignorance because I'm a fucking ignorant human being at times but right then that is just stupid as all hell that's you b- basically pandering because you're basically <laughs> saying oh my, uh, my background my history you know you're, you're, you're basically insulting your own, your own history I don't know buddy. if you heard the scene uh, there was a uh, the real news covered a Trump rally here in Arizona I don't know if you saw this Steve there was actually a uh, black gentleman there and something, I wish I had the clip to play for you, but it really struck me very odd, and I, I know you would have had a field day with it, but he literally pulled an Uncle Ruckus. And I, and he's, and they asked oh, him straight up, first of all, he had a Hillary for Prison shirt on. Oh, did he? So InfoWars all the way. <laughs> um, he was sitting there, and they said, you know, why, why isn't there more people of color here? And he, and I, forgive me if this isn't quote unquote, but it, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's pretty close. He said, because I don't think a lot of black people want to admit that the white man helped them, helped them up, gave them the ability to vote, oh, gave them man. the ability to Dude. do all these things. Jason, you want to hear the real <laughs> he hypocrisy of that? Pulled, he literally pulled. I like it at the back of the bus. I know. You see, you want to hear the hypocrisy of those types of people? <laughs> They're this type of people that that are desperately trying not to be their race and instead of being like themselves because how can you be a race you're just yourself he's identifying with something that he's not so hard that he has to trounce what he believes that they hate <laughs> so when he, by him doing that hey I'm wearing the, the you know Hillary for fucking prison and on the back it says Trump that bitch I'm one of you guys it's like no, they see you as just like, okay, uh, yeah, you got the shirt on, you're just a fucking other game. I mean, they're going to say, hey, cool, and they're turning around, like, you see this fucking black... I don't know if you guys <laughs> heard about this, too. Maricopa County voted for Trump more heavily than any other county in America. Cool. Yes, yes. This wow, is, that's, that's, a, that's a shame. How red can you get then? That's a shame. How red can you get then, though? That's a shame. I mean, honestly, I know there's a lot of uh, elderly here, and they don't change their mind. No, I mean, not. fucking come on. Which is a problem, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be allowed to vote if you just come here and out of state, and then Sun you vote. Oh, uh, snowbirds. Oh, yeah. fuck. You shouldn't be allowed to vote, I'm sorry. I mean, when sh- if you can't be able to drive, no, I'm dead I mean, serious. If you oh, live out of state and you come here and then you just vote oh, while you you're just here, vote you while you're here and you yeah, just leave, that. No. then you're you're basically a oh, voter fraud. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Speaking God. of which, there's been no evidence of. Oh, I, I love how that was, did you love how no that no, but you love how that one just dissipated. People oh, were yeah. fucking freaking out. Just now like the wiretapping like, oh, claim, which I still think is true. Absolutely, I think it's true. Yeah. Oh, but do you think the microwave's true too? I, mean, I think oh, that's I hilarious. That I actually yeah. jumped right into my microwave and I tried to talk to Obama <laughs> myself. I was just like, you know. And he said, Robert, I'm telling you. He's like, I'm not in here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that YouTube video of that guy, like, having a 30-minute conversation with his microwave talking what? to Barack Obama? No. He was, like, in a full-on suit and tie, and he put his microwave into, like, a seat, and he was, like, That's interviewing amazing. it like it was Barack right. Obama. That's I was like, oh, my God. Did that he do dialogue? Did the microwave talk back like Obama? No, no, he didn't. <laughs> he, he, he had two shots, and he kept shooting back to the microwave. The microwave would say, I, obviously, nothing, and he would go back to going, hmm, hmm, okay, yeah, you're right, yeah. Uh, let me ask you this thing. So you've been spying on him for how long now? And then obviously it would say nothing. He's just like, oh, let man, me ask you guys a question uh, here. Hold on, before okay, you ask that question, Stephen, um, did you see on uh, Fox News, anchor um, Shepard Smith kind of went off on uh, Kelly and Conway about that? And like, uh, they, he played his uh, her interview, and at the end he Kelly said, Kelly got to talk Conway. You, you said that Smith, Smith, right? cannot. Um, 
cannot record you doing anything. Right, yeah, of course. But I can raise only heat food. <laughs> and I repeat... Do you know how there's no uh, camera available on this earth that it would be able to withstand the... Uh, not the not the yeah, the yeah, the way. Way. I know, I'll turn it in a fact. Hey, so man. Well, so are we gonna go to a my microwave like totally new? There's gonna be like a webcam in this, like I, them I looking at me vigorously. I, like, I, mean, I, I generally flip this, off man. my TV when I walk <laughs> by, just in case the FBI is watching. I know. I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna ask you guys this both right now. Like, yeah. like seriously, Rob. I mean, come on, honestly. When you're just sitting there, just browsing the internet, do you really think they're like, yeah, click? You on know, that. I really. Okay, <laughs> if I really. <laughs> oh, that actually brings me to another story. Let's get into this one. Do you guys hear about? the woman in Texas that actually proposed a law that was, uh, you get fined a hundred dollars for masturbating. Yes. I saw that, yes. And it, it was all yes. the chance just to troll the Republicans, and they all <laughs> fell yes. for it. Oh Every God. Republican was outraged. So basically, if you don't know, this woman basically said that um, she wanted to put a hundred dollar fine every time a man would masturbate, and a man had to wait a 24-hour period if he was seeking Viagra for a colonoscopy or anything like that. So basically, and every fucking guy was like, oh my god, this is an outrage, oh my god, and if some of you conservatives are out there yelling at me right now, like, oh my like, god, this is an outrage, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was oh, funny, oh you guys fell right it for it, because right the whole it. point of it is, that's what you guys do to women, man. <laughs> That's exactly what they do to the women, man. And so, and you know, she just took it a step further. I mean, if you are jacking off, I mean, you are technically releasing, you know, your seed. Yeah, you're, you're spilling your you're, seed. You're that, is, that is right there in the you're Bible. You're not babies. supposed to spill your seed. I mean, right then. I mean, right, right. But it's so funny. Oh, oh my God. She was like, it was like a sarcasm. Nine thousand, and they totally didn't they understand. They totally it. fell it right, right over, over their, their heads. heads. Oh yeah, man. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna say this. It, only because of Texas. This only this kind of shit only will only happen in Texas because they're oh, that, no, that, 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 that super regi- uh, religious Bible thumping gun toting Texan. Dude, they have only to in Texas. Man. Well, oh, I, mean, I, I have. We ever seen that kind of a law come across in Arizona? I just explained to you about one SB 1062, man. No, I mean, uh, well, well, I mean, just the. I mean, oh, no, you mean a girl? What if, you mean a girl doing? Oh no, that would be hilarious. That, I, have to, I, I, but I think. Would it, I think. Are you asking whether or not they? You know, would Arizona? Yeah, the same would way. Arizona I, I, uh, the same kind of law. Do you think that would actually I think, happen? Uh, to be honest with you, I think so. <laughs> I mean, really it's just too many so. elderly. They would freak the fuck out. People would follow and then be like, "Put your fucking dick away." It's just like, man, just put my hand in my pocket. <laughs> Well, I mean, the, you know, there's a, this hand sanitizer that says maybe you have touched your genitals. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, there's a hand sanitizer that is called maybe you have touched your genitals. Huh? And so, it's, is it is it made specifically for when you grab your balls? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, that's weird. I need to actually look into that. Just, that's just because. Oh, it's kind of a product placement. Yeah, product placement. Might have been right there. <laughs> So yeah, guys, you know, hey, well, we're going to actually tie up the show a little bit. It's, uh, we're going to tie up the show now. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, look like, subscribe, look like, subscribe, listen like, subscribe, guys. Um, the show is growing. We yeah. appreciate all the love. Over I, uh, 700. Over 700 people. I want to I want to throw a special shout, shout out always to our fans on SoundCloud. You guys throw us the most yeah, love. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so and much. And I appreciate it. So we do not much. forget you guys. We, we love you guys every day. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, for everyone on Twitter who follows us, thank you so much. We appreciate the uh, the listens and the follows. And um, hey, guys. Um, just this spread is, it, guys. Just spread yeah, the name out. Yeah, I, I see you guys name. spreading the name of the Miniman. I, we're on YouTube as well. I see yeah. you guys out there. Uh, there's a lot subscribe, of news. Just subscribe. And, you know, there's going to be more content. Uh, we've got plenty, obviously. obviously. There's plenty to talk about. I mean, I won't lie to you guys. I've actually been holding this deucey story off for... I've been, I've been holding this double <laughs> deuce for a while, actually, yeah. because... Uh, <laughs> There's just been so much to talk about There's in the Trump much era. Shit. I mean, if I mean, Trump could just, just tone down a little bit so we could talk about some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, there's a new story every fucking day from this I mean, guy. Every day, and you know, as, we, as, we, as I keep telling our listeners, too, we were the first ones, and I'm going to keep saying it. You guys can tell everyone, I don't give a shit if some of you no, no, we were. We were the first ones to talk about yeah, Russia. Yeah, we were. We were the first ones to talk about Russia. I don't care who else is talking about it and what they say. We were the first podcast to talk about it. We reported to you a while ago about Carter Page and Paul Manafort, and it grew from there. So, this is C.T. Rob with the Dark Frenchman, C.T. Steve, and the Squid. Thank you. Have a good week, guys. You guys have a great week.